Equatorial Guinea. History, geography, people, facts, economy. Equatorial Guinea is a small country located on the west coast of Africa. It is made up of two main regions, Bioko Island, which is where the capital city of Malobo is located, and Rio Muni, which is on the mainland. Equatorial Guinea is a country of contrasts with a rich history and diverse cultures. It is also a country with a rapidly growing economy thanks to its oil and gas reserves. In this article, we will explore the history, geography, people, facts and economy of Equatorial Guinea. We will also take a look at the country's future prospects. I hope you will find this article interesting and informative. About Equatorial Guinea Equatorial Guinea is a small country located on the west coast of Africa. It is made up of two main regions, Bioko Island, which is where the capital city of Malobo is located, and Rio Muni, which is on the mainland. Equatorial Guinea is a country of contrasts with a rich history and diverse cultures. It is also a country with a rapidly growing economy thanks to its oil and gas reserves. Equatorial Guinea is not a major player on the world stage, but it is important for a few reasons. First, it is located in a strategic position on the Gulf of Guinea, which is a major shipping route. Second, it has a large oil and gas industry, which is important for the global economy. Third, it is a member of the African Union and the United Nations, which gives it a voice on the international stage. Equatorial Guinea's reputation around the world is mixed. On the one hand, the country is often praised for its economic growth and its potential as a future oil and gas producer. On the other hand, Equatorial Guinea has been criticised for its human rights record and its high level of corruption. Overall, Equatorial Guinea is a country with a lot of potential. However, it also faces some challenges, such as corruption and poverty. The country's future reputation will depend on how it addresses these challenges. The History of Equatorial Guinea Equatorial Guinea has a long and complex history, dating back to the 15th century. The first Europeans to arrive in the region were the Portuguese, who established a trading post on Bioko Island in 1472. The island was then known as Fernando Pu. In the 17th century, the Spanish took control of Bioko Island. They also established a colony on the mainland, which was known as Rio Muni. The Spanish ruled Equatorial Guinea for over 300 years. In 1968, Equatorial Guinea gained independence from Spain. The first president of Equatorial Guinea was Francisco Macias Nguema. Macias Nguema was a brutal dictator who ruled the country for 11 years. He was overthrown in a coup d'etat in 1979. Since 1979, Equatorial Guinea has had a turbulent history. There have been several coup d'etat and the country has been plagued by corruption. However, the country has also made some progress in recent years. The economy has grown significantly thanks to the discovery of oil and gas reserves. Equatorial Guinea is still a young country, but it has a lot of potential. The country has a young and growing population, and it is located in a strategic position on the Gulf of Guinea. If Equatorial Guinea can address its challenges, it could become a prosperous country in the future. Equatorial Guinea Geography Sure, Equatorial Guinea is a small country located on the west coast of Africa. It is made up of two main regions, Bioko Island, which is where the capital city of Malobo is located, and Rio Muni, which is on the mainland. Equatorial Guinea is bordered by Cameroon to the north and Gabon to the east and south. Bioko Island is the largest island in Equatorial Guinea. It is about 2,017 square kilometres in size and is located about 32 kilometres off the coast of Cameroon. Bioko Island is volcanic in origin and has a mountainous interior. The climate on Bioko Island is tropical, with high temperatures and humidity year-round. Rio Muni is the mainland region of Equatorial Guinea. It is about 26,000 square kilometres in size and is located on the Gulf of Guinea. Rio Muni is mostly flat, with some hills and mountains in the north. The climate on Rio Muni is also tropical, but it is slightly cooler than on Bioko Island. Equatorial Guinea also has several small islands including Anabon, Corisco, Elobe Grande and Elobe Chico. Anabon is located about 565 kilometers south of Bioko Island. The other islands are located off the coast of Rio Muni. 
The physical features of Equatorial Guinea are diverse, ranging from the volcanic mountains of Bioko Island to the flatlands of Rio Muni. The country has a tropical climate with high temperatures and humidity year-round. Equatorial Guinea is a beautiful country with a lot to offer visitors, including stunning scenery, diverse wildlife and friendly people. The people of Equatorial Guinea the people of Equatorial Guinea are a diverse group with a mix of African, European and Asian ancestry. The largest ethnic group in the country is the Fang, who make up about 80% of the population. Other ethnic groups include the Bubi, the Ndawi and the Anobonese. The people of Equatorial Guinea are mostly Christian, with a small Muslim minority. The official languages of the country are Spanish, French and Portuguese. The majority of the population speaks Fang as a first language. The people of Equatorial Guinea are known for their hospitality and their love of music and dance. The country has a rich cultural heritage which is reflected in its art, music and dance. Economy of Equatorial Guinea Equatorial Guinea's economy is heavily dependent on oil and gas. The oil and gas sector accounts for about 80% of GDP and 90% of exports. The country is the third largest oil producer in sub-Saharan Africa after Nigeria and Angola. The discovery of oil in the 1990s transformed Equatorial Guinea's economy. The country's GDP grew rapidly and the standard of living for the elite improved significantly. However, the benefits of oil wealth have not been evenly distributed and most of the population remains poor. In recent years, the government has been trying to diversify the economy and reduce its dependence on oil. The government has invested in agriculture, tourism and infrastructure. However, these efforts have had limited success and the country remains heavily dependent on oil. Equatorial Guinea's economy is also vulnerable to fluctuations in the global oil market. The country's GDP has declined in recent years due to falling oil prices. The government has responded by cutting spending and raising taxes. However, the economy remains fragile and it is vulnerable to another downturn in the oil market. Heavy dependence on oil the economy is heavily dependent on oil and gas, which accounts for about 80% of GDP and 90% of exports. This makes the economy vulnerable to fluctuations in the global oil market. High levels of corruption Equatorial Guinea is ranked 175 out of 180 countries on Transparency International's Corruption Perception Index. This corruption has hindered economic development and impeded the equitable distribution of wealth. Poverty Despite the country's oil wealth, more than 70% of the population lives below the poverty line. This poverty is due to a number of factors, including inequality, corruption and lack of opportunity. Despite these challenges, Equatorial Guinea has the potential to become a prosperous country. The country has a young and growing population and it is located in a strategic position on the Gulf of Guinea. If Equatorial Guinea can address its challenges, it could become a major economic player in Africa. Interesting Facts Equatorial Guinea is the only country in Africa with Spanish as an official language. The capital of Equatorial Guinea, Malobo, is located on Bioko Island, which is the second largest volcanic island in the Gulf of Guinea. Equatorial Guinea is the third largest oil producer in sub-Saharan Africa, after Nigeria and Angola. The country has a population of about 1.679 million people, of which about 70% live in Bioko Island. The official languages of Equatorial Guinea are Spanish, French and Portuguese. The currency of Equatorial Guinea is the CFA franc. The climate of Equatorial Guinea is tropical, with average temperatures ranging from 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. The wildlife of Equatorial Guinea is diverse, including chimpanzees, gorillas, elephants and a variety of bird species. Equatorial Guinea is a member of the United Nations, the African Union and the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC. Equatorial Guinea is a country with a rich and complex history. It is also a country with a bright future, thanks to its natural resources and its young and growing population. The country faces some challenges, such as corruption and poverty, but it is also making progress in areas such as education and healthcare. I hope this article has given you a better understanding of Equatorial Guinea, a country that is often overlooked but has a lot to offer.
Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and turn on the notification bell.